know that even once we end all carbon emissions, if we keep eating animal protein, we still may end up in a global hellscape of our own making? It's given famine. It's given war. It's given <laughs> Mad Max Fury Road. So, if you don't want this in your new look, listen up. On today's Mike Could, we're talking veganism. Because our planet isn't a deserted wasteland yet, but if we don't stop going ham on ham, and chicken and beef, it might could. Our future may look grim now, but if we switch to a predominantly plant-based diet, we might could flip it and reverse it. Now, instead of a grim future of rising seas and worsening storms and hotter summers, we could see a brighter future of stable seas, EVs, and melting vegan cheese. It ain't happened yet, but it might could. Now I know what you're gonna say, Rashida, I love impossible beef, and I'm all about the cashew yogurts and the coconut-based ice cream. But what is going on with vegan cheese? Why don't it melt? <laughs> and you're right, vegan cheese sucks. Listen up, food scientists. You need to stop making flavors of Doritos and start making vegan cheese that melts. You hear? I'm now requesting all vegans who care about the planet to make melting vegan cheese their number one priority. Because that's what's going to make veganism more viable. It's the change we have to cheese. So I made it my business to go to three different stores on a hunt, baby, a hunt to find some vegan cheese that melts. You see me leaning. Fine. Do you guys sell vegan cheese that melts? I'm looking for vegan cheese that melts. Aisle number three. Thank you. So I went and caught me three different types of vegan cheese. And I'm gonna try to make a macaroni and cheese and taste test it with the aunties to see if it's actually good even though it's vegan. Now this first cheese, it already felt like cardboard. I popped it in the microwave for 30 seconds. And you know, by the time I took it out, it still has shreds in it. How you burnt but not melted? Now this diet cheese, same twist, touched it. It felt like paper. I pop it in the microwave, 30 seconds, take it out, and the thing got the nerve, watch this, got the nerve to be burnt, shredded, but not melted. Where they do that at? So, VO Life, that was my favorite. To the touch, even the texture of it felt more like dairy. And when I put it in the microwave, I felt like we had a winner. Alright, right. first taste test numero uno. Mm -hmm. Oh no, don't burn your mouth. Okay. It's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> Amen. Okay, let's see about this vegan mac and cheese. <laughs> Maybe I just need like the the burnt fat. So, so, so. Good job. <laughs>